hello viewers we are highly welcome let's solve this problem here so now this equation is going to be having six possible solutions right so let's try to see how we can solve the problem so we can have this to be x minus 1 to the power of 6 so we transpose this to this area 5 to the power of 6 then equals 0 so we can rewrite this equation as x minus 1 to the power of 3 then how to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 3 then we have what we have about 2 equals 0. Now from here, from different from 2 square, we have a square minus b square. This must give us a minus b, then a plus b. So now we move on. So now from here, you're going to have this to be, we're not going to translate this. So x minus 1 out of power of 3 will be uh, a, and 5 to the power of 3 will be b. So we're going to have what? We're going to have x minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 we have this then x minus 1 to power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 equals 0 so we have this 0 from equation so we're going to have what we're going to have either x minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 equals 0 or we have 3 equals 0 so for case 1, we have x minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 equals 0. That's the first one. So now we're going to we're going to solve this completely. Now, so what are we going to have? So when we have x minus 1 up to the power of 3. So from here, you need to recall again that when you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. So this will give us a minus b into bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared. So if you remember that, we're going to apply it here by having this to be x minus 1, then minus 5. Okay then we'll take this x minus 1 to be a so this is going to be x minus 1 squared plus a is then you multiply a and b that is x minus 1 and 5 this will be 5 into bracket x minus 1 okay then we have plus 5 to the power of what to the power of 2 then equals 0. Let's try to solve further. This is going to be x minus 6. Then here, if you try to square this, this is going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1. Plus, open this, we have 5x minus 5. Okay, then plus 25 equals 0. So we're going to have x minus 6, x squared. So minus 2x plus 5x. Minus 2x plus 5x, that will give us plus 3x. Then plus 3x, we have 25. Minus 25, that is 20. 25 minus 25, minus 5, that will give us 20 plus 1, we have plus 21 equals 0. So now we can see now here we have x minus 6 to be equal to 0 or we have what x squared plus 3x plus 21 equals 0 so now from here x is going to be 6 okay so we have what we have one solution here so now try to solve this one further so we're going to use quadratic formula x is going to be minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac all over 2 here okay we have so we have x equals what is b b here is the coefficient of x which is 3 we have minus 3 plus or minus then square root of 3 we have 3 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 then which is the coefficient of x square and we have c to be 21 then all over 2 times 1 so we have x to be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 21 
so that's going to give us 84 okay then divided by 2 so you have x to be minus 3 plus or minus so 9 minus 84 we're going to have minus 75 divided by 2 So we have this 9 minus 84 we're going to have minus 75 okay then minus 3 plus or minus this so this can be written as x equals minus 3 plus or minus root of minus 1 dot square root of 25 dot square root of 3 so all over what all over 2 so we're going to have x to be equals minus 3 plus or minus i this is the square root of minus 1 is i the square root of 25 is 5 then we have root 3 all over 2 so therefore we have what we have another set of solution okay so we have x1 here to be this so x2 to be minus 3 plus i 5 root 3 all over 2 we have x3 to be minus 3 minus i 5 root 3 all over 2 so this is the x3 then let's look for the other solutions so we need to recall that here we have what we have the case one here this is the case one here so we're going to take the case two when you have this this is the what is the case two okay for the case two the case two says we have it to be x minus 1 to the power of 3 then plus 5 to the power of 3 equals 0 so we need to recall that when you have when you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 this will give us a plus b then a squared minus a b plus b squared so we're going to apply that and we're going to have this to be so x minus 1 to the power of 3 x minus 1 is going to be a we're going to have x minus 1 x minus 1 then plus 5 like this then x minus 1 all squared minus 5 times x minus 1 plus 5 squared equals 0 so from here try to open the bracket we're going to have x minus 1 plus 5 we're going to have x plus 4 then here is going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1 if you open the bracket here then minus open the bracket 5x then plus 5 plus 25 then equals 0 so we're going to have x plus 4 then here let's try to simplify this order 25 plus 5 that is 30 plus 1 we have 31 so let's say we have x squared minus we have plus 31 here when you had this and this together then minus 2x minus 5x that will give us minus 7x okay then equals 0 so now we have x plus 4 to be equal 0 or we have x squared minus 7x plus 31 equals 0 are you following so now from there we can have x plus 4 equals i wrote this be x equals minus 4 so if we transpose this to this side okay so we have x so another solution as shown which is x equals minus 4 let it let me bring it down x4 equals minus 4 okay now let's continue so now the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to solve this one completely using quadratic formula this is going to be x because minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so this is going to be x we're going to be having x to be what is minus minus what is uh, b b is this we have minus 7 then plus or minus a b squared that's the minus 7 all squared minus 4 times a is 1 c is the constant time which is 31 then all over 2 the 2 times a at this one we have x equals 7 plus or minus here is what we have 49 minus 
4 times 31 4 times 31 that's going to be uh, minus 120 minus 124 all over 2 so we have x equals 7 plus or minus 49 minus 124 so 49 minus 124 you're going to have the square root of minus 75 all over what all over 2 then we're going to have x equals 7 plus or minus we're going to split this in this form okay because minus 1 times 25 times 3 will give us minus 75 then divided by 2 so we have x equals 7 plus or minus root of minus 1 is i the root of 25 is 5 then we have root 3 all over 2. So you can see we have x equals this. So now you're having plus or minus. So from there, we're going to have what we're going to have our next. So from here, our next solution is going to be for x5, we're going to have 7 plus i5 root 3 all over 2. Then we have x6 to be. 7 minus i5 root 3 then all over 2 so now if you look at this these are the what these are the these are all the solution possible solutions of this uh problem so we have x to the power of 2 i'm sorry we have x to s3 x4 x5 and x6 so thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying this class kindly share kindly subscribe to our youtube channel so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.